so this is just a note to point out that I've been standing up here. Oh no, that guy did come. But I had been standing up here for like three minutes, waiting for that alert to change to a warning. It's not always clear um, when you get safe enough to for the alert to change into a warning, to a yellow warning, and then back down to safety. So, um, I don't know, it seems like once there are no enemies nearby, that should happen. So, right now, I seem to be stuck in this room. Um, I got in here while under heavy fire, and then waited in here until the evasion timer ran out, and now I can't get out. Um, I could get out if I could kill these guys, but there's no way I can kill that guy by the door. I can't even approach him. This knife is also extremely buggy. It just kind of goes spastic sometimes. I'm holding it down right now, and I can't get it to do anything. There now, and I didn't like how. I have no idea what causes this knife to work like that. I think it's just buggy, and I can't see. I'm gonna die. Also, regarding deaths, I appreciate that you don't send me back too far when I die, but I also wish you would actually have more save points, because it's probably been 45 minutes to an hour since the last time I got to a save point. I kind of want to turn the game off right now, but I can't. Um, I would lose everything I've done since I turned it on an hour ago, because there are just no save points in here. Um, in Zelda games, when you die, it gives you a chance to save, and I think that would be a good idea here also. Um, possibly just let you save anywhere, and if you do so, then it, it doesn't save you exactly where you are, it saves your location wherever you would be if you died. So, if I save right here, and then I reload from that save, it wouldn't take me back right here, it would take me back to the elevator, because that's where I would go if I died right here. As so. a save point just past the next elevator, but personally I would have put two or three in between. Um, basically any time there's a room with no enemies, you should probably put a save point there if you're not going to do the save anywhere thing. I am now in the main control room, and for a split second when I entered there was an old guy standing at the controls. I'm sure that was a bug. This place was actually pretty hard to navigate. Um, not that I got lost, but there were several different ways to go at pretty much every juncture, and if you went the wrong way, it wasn't always clear that you'd gone the wrong way. You would just keep dying. <laughs> Either that or I was doing something very wrong. There were some places that were pretty optional too and I didn't really see the point. I also haven't figured out what credits do yet. Ooh, sinister.
also, I got a, a ration earlier, and it said I could open the menu to use it, but pressing 2 to open the menu, it wasn't listed. And then, like, after about 15 minutes, I decided that I actually wanted to use the ration, so I was going to try to figure out how to use it, so I kept pressing different keys and eventually found out that pressing one opens a second menu and the ration was in there but even putting it on equipping it there was no button to use it so I was quite confused and it would only let me pick up one which is why I wanted to use it because I came back and there was a second one and so I wanted to use the first but it wouldn't let me use it so uh, instructions on how to actually use that should probably be spelled out to the player more clearly. For those of us who don't actually remember how the controls in Metal Gear worked. Oh, I can move now. I thought this cutscene was still going. 